OnOne plugins integrate seamlessly into your favorite Photoshop workflows, regardless of the photograph you're editing. Whether that's putting your own personal style into the scene, or simply saving your favorite looks as actions, OnOne plugins have you covered. With Photoshop, let's give our image a darker look to really focus in on the colors and textures in the photo. And let's say for this particular image, we want to add on a simple lens flare into the water here to give it that vintage feel to make it appear as if there's a nice light burst coming off that area of the scene. After the addition of that lens flare, our image is in need of some unique and creative style. Once we've modified the image and are ready to bring it to life, it's really easy to create an action so that we can quickly go back and apply that same style to any image we're modifying. We'll use the action menu to create a new action here, and then we can name the action the style that we're trying to create. So we'll just name it Vintage Effects. And we'll use the Automate menu here to quickly send that right over to On One Effects. Once the image is in On One Effects, you can find a vast array of different filters and photo effects that can be used to create any popular style that you're looking for or enhance the look that you've already created. If you're looking for a vintage or age style, On One Effects is your one stop shop. There are hundreds of different presets to browse through that pack a ton of different amazing styles, especially vintage ones, or you can build your own custom style really easily. Let's quickly add on the vintage filter for a faded and matted look that's so popular with aged looks these days. In all of the filters in On One Effects, there's preset styles built in that we can choose from to quickly set the style of the scene. I really love this lo-fi preset inside of the vintage filter for giving it that high contrast vintage aesthetic. Also in our vintage filter, you can add in film grain if you're looking to give the image a bit more of a grainy, gritty look. Now, if you're looking to completely adjust the film grain, there's actually a filter dedicated to film grain. So let's add that film grain filter onto the scene. And in the menu here, I'm going to choose a really strong one. And I really love this 3200 ISO film grain to just give it lots of grit and graininess. It's looking great so far, but I think one last creative filter would be awesome on the scene. So let's use the channel mixer filter. This filter is great for deep, rich, black and white conversions, but it also is awesome for getting really creative with the color in your photograph as well. Let's just add in this black and white green filter one. And I think that adds in a nice, rich, monochromatic look to the scene. Let's just quickly check the before and after and see how easy it was to build our own custom vintage black and white look. That's the power of On One Effects and your favorite Photoshop workflow. Let's now head back into Photoshop to complete the action. Inside of Photoshop, we'll end the action recording and now we can easily apply that vintage look to any of the other photographs that we're modifying. You can also use these actions with any other On One plugins for the same amazing results. And if you're looking to batch process groups of photos, the actions come in really handy for that as well. Simply go back to the Automate menu and choose Batch. You can use that vintage action now and apply it to a group of images that need modifying. Now those are easier, faster, and better results.